Today, we've actually got some very interesting announcement for Days Gone 2. And all of this info is coming from Ben Studios and also John Garvin, who's the creative director of Days Gone. All right, so let's get over this long story short. We've actually got some reports, which is coming from an interview which was done by the ex-developers at Ben Studios. And these were the guys that developed Days Gone. And from the information in the latest interview, we, for the very first time, got to finally know that Days Gone 2 was cancelled based on Ben Studios decision and it was not based on Sony's decision and for all these years we were just thinking it was Sony and you know Sony is just not given the green light or whatsoever but it seems like it is Ben Studios who did it it's not Sony and apparently it seems like there has been a lot of issues going on internally with Ben Studios and not everybody was happy with Days Gone 2 happening and this was most probably because of biased opinions that goes on with all the different team members now as far as the information that we have received it seems like the sequel days gone 2 was in a much earlier planning stages and also to note that the game never actually entered development which means that there was literally nothing it was just a plain imagination that days gone 2 will happen and they kind of had the story plot they never submitted the sequel storyline to sony in order to get an approval and this is coming from the creative director at days gone John Garvin as well as Jeff Ross who is the main head behind making the entire game. Now in the interview they've confirmed that the studio actually never took the pitch to Sony at all. They never even submitted the Days Gone sequels pitch to Sony in order for them to review it and give a green light for the sequel of the game. And this happened internally and PlayStation was being blamed for cancellation prior to all of this thing happening and a lot of fans were really angry at PlayStation throwing away money on Concord and all that bullshit games but then they could have easily made Days Gone 2 and made a huge profit but no they decided to put all their money in a dumb freaking game like Concord and lost all the millions of dollars and now fans are just upset that you know PS5 Pro is here and that's going to cost you like $700 before taxation and if you add up all the tax it's pretty much like an X showroom price is $700 and the on road price is going to be all the way up to $900 if you add on the taxes, if you add on the physical disc that you will externally need to purchase and then connect that with your PS5 Pro digital console. And apart from that, worst part, you also need to get like a $30 stand, which is again going to cost an additional taxes and VAT and whatnot, all this stuff. So it's basically going to come all the way to $900. And Sony has no game in order to showcase the performance or show off whatever the PS5 Pro is going to get. So there is literally no launch title that is going to be promoting uh, ps5 pro it could have been days gone it could have clearly been days gone but sony decided it's going to be concord the worst game of all time and nobody literally even wanted to play that game throughout the entire world and that's where they sold out millions and millions of dollars they just poured money in there for absolutely nothing and unfortunately this is all because Ben Studios, it seems like the guys inside Ben Studios, they never pitched the idea to Sony because of which Sony never got to know the sequel idea for the game. And right now we get to understand from this source, which is coming from Rhino, it's just a report from Rhino, but then it seems like the source is David Jeff's interview with John Garvin and Jeff Ross, plus extra input from David Jaffe in the comments on YouTube. Now, if you go down to David Jaffe's post on Twitter, you can actually see that he basically basically posted stating that you know he feels sad that Deacon St. John is now being used as a promotional character in order to promote some very small games like Astrobots. And what's funny is that recently with the Astrobot game launching you know Ben Studios the guys working at Ben Studios it's a completely different team from the team that ran uh, Ben Studios when Days Gone was released. So these guys are the new ones are completely different ones and apparently it seems like the current guys posted uh, this image basically just promoting Astrobot where they said that his job is in the beach big congrats to our friend and guess who got extremely offended 
the guys behind the original character, they absolutely could not stand what Ben Studio is currently doing. It seems like John Garvin, the creative director of Days Gone, looking at how his character is basically being used as a promotional cameo on some small double A games, instead of giving such an amazing character a mainline game, giving him a sequel, making him look like an actual big character in the gaming industry, but no, they're just using him from promotion. And in my eyes, I honestly don't see any harm in this, but then, you know, as a creative director, as someone who has created this character, given life to this character, you kind of get it, what this man has to say now John Garvin says that he's kind of offended and this is what he tweeted with a quote it's kind of sad that Deacon has been reduced to promoting other games well done Ben Studio way to protect your legacy and after he made the statement obviously there was a lot of hate that was just barging in and a lot of people were just saying he has some ego issues and whatnot and all that stuff in the interview the game director also went on to say that Deacon St. John is now being being reduced to cartoon shills for some really small games. That's where they're promoting Deacon St. John 4. I mean, that's kind of understandable. To be honest, personally, I think that, you know, Days Gone 2 should have happened and it's a great game. The first game is amazing. And for whatever reason, it seems like someone inside of Ben Studios, they were not happy with the sequel. A lot of people have their own agendas and of course at the end of the day it's a whole studio everyone needs to combine their forces in order to get an amazing game working and putting it out there it seems like not everyone is happy with this decision they never deliver the sequel's plot to sony so hopefully it happens in the future we don't exactly know if that's going to happen or not but as of now this is kind of just the sad news that we have now if you think the creative director is going to stop there well guess what he did not he went a little bit extra with uh, some more comments that he made which is kind of hilarious at this point now john garvin posted this on twitter where he says that the three reasons as to why we don't have days gone to reason number one it has technical issues like bugs streaming and frame rate issues which was later on fixed by the way the game is completely fixed right now there is no frame rate issues the game runs really amazing on the pc as well as on the ps5 consoles but originally for or the ps4 pro i think the last gen consoles had the issues but then if you're running the game on the ps5 it's butter smooth it's amazing to be honest i played it i loved it it's really amazing so the second point here is actually pretty funny and it's very true to be honest now he says that it has reviewers who couldn't be bothered to actually play the game and this is 100 true because ign they reviewed this game they specifically said a lot of things does not exist in the game which later on if you actually finish the entire story then you would know that the second half of the game had basically every single thing that they declined in their reviews that the game has so this means that they never played the entire game so they just rushed in give a fuck in order to review the game properly and they just gave it one of the worst ratings of all time and third reason that he says is that it had Vogue reviewers who couldn't handle a gruff white biker looking at his date's ass and man oh man this was actually commented on 2022 and how the hell did I miss this? It's honestly one of uh, the wonderful replies. Because you know, everything that was said in John Garvin's statement is actually very true and uh, most of the gamers did notice that as well because most of them actually did end up liking this game it's the same situation with black myth wukong the only difference is that these reviewers got exposed with black myth wukong because you know players defended that game but back in those times all of this woke stuff it was just newly introduced to our generation you know it was not widespread like it is these days so people right now they're done with that shit. you know they are tired of all that woke stuff and and they're finally taking a stand against these woke reviewers but unfortunately that was not the case back then when days gone all released and it seems like that's the reason why this game just went down and honestly sony is losing millions of dollars because they sold 9 million copies of days gone on console alone and if you go down to the charts and if you take a look at the other games on how many copies got sold now if you take it the last was part two there were 10 million copies sold horizon zero dawn 10 million copies the last was remastered 10 million copies ghost of tsushima 9.7 million copies and days gone was able to sell 9 million copies and if a sequel for this game is cancelled that is a huge problem that 
definitely shows how big of a problem we have in current generation of Vogue Media and all of these really terrible reviewers out there. They absolutely tried to butcher Black Myth Vuko. And thankfully, for all of the fans around the world, we fought hard and we made that game successful. And now it's a great game. You know, people are now acknowledging for what it is. And of course, these medias out there like IGN and GameSpot and all of these dumbasses, they tried their very best until the very end in order to drag this game down, but it never worked. And that's a huge thanks to all of us in the gaming community. We finally succeeded in order to stop these media outlets from destroying good games from happening. And it seems like it's going to continue happening in the future as well. But yeah, at this point, this is all that we have that is related to Days Gone, all the situation that's going on with Days Gone, man. Honestly, I really want to see a sequel to Days Gone. I want to see Days Gone too. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think? If you have any opinions, leave them in the comments. And someone from Sony, if you're watching this video, go ahead, check the comments down below. See what fans want. Everybody wants Days Gone too. Just take a look at the comment section. And all of you guys watching this video, just go ahead. Just take a couple seconds of your valuable time and leave a comment on this video saying that you want Days Gone 2 if you want it. And your comments, it does really matter. It makes changes. Look at Black Myth Vukong. Just because we were vocal enough, the game survived. But if we stay calm, I think the Vogue media is absolutely going to destroy gaming forever. And that is why we need to stand up to this shit and we need to speak up. Make sure to go down in the comments, let your opinions known about Days Gone 2. Now with that being said, if you guys did enjoy this video, drop a like, it really helps the channel out a lot. It helps the video get a lot more reach so your support is absolutely appreciated and with that being said if you guys want to stay updated with all the latest and the greatest information news updates leaks announcements gameplays and all the stuff that you guys need about upcoming open world games then this channel is going to be a number one stop you're never going to get some of the exclusive informations out there on youtube that's that's just my catchphrase make sure to go ahead subscribe turn the notifications on and i will see you guys on tomorrow's video. Until then, take it easy fams and goodbye.